All right, so uh, this question, uh, number 25, is a classic physics question. Um, you see this question through all through a high school all the time. The question is talking about a, um, a ball that's kind of thrown up in the air and goes up vertically and then kind of falls back to the ground. So we kind of have this you know, typical projectile motion. So that happens. Okay, that's pretty much what's happening. And it says, oh, this uh, situation is described by this equation minus 4.9 t squared plus 25t. Okay, so this is what we have. And it's asking for uh, when after the ball, approximately after how many seconds will the ball hit the ground? Uh, after how many seconds will it hit the ground? So it's asking us for the value for t time. Well, if you think about when the ball is in the ground, the ball is actually on the ground in two spots. It's in the ground at this spot. Let me mention that at this spot initially before you threw it. And then when it lands, so it's in this ground twice. The question is, what is the height at each one of these spots? Do you agree that this place H is zero because it's still on the ground and here H is also zero. So anytime a question like this on the SAT says, gives you like a projectile motion like this and gives you a quadratic equation and says, at what point is, is the, um, what is it, how much time will it take for it to hit the ground is essentially saying, make the H zero because when it hits the ground, when it's on the ground, when it hits the ground again, at both times, the H is zero. So I'm going to put H as zero. And this is really the only thing that this, um, whole question would change. It just makes the H zero. You still write that. Now you want to solve the quadratic. One of the things we don't want is we don't like this negative in front of the, especially the T squared stuff, the T squared number. So I'm just going to move all of this to the left side. So all the signs would change. So I now have 4.9 T squared. Um, my plus 25t becomes minus 25t because I moved it to the left equal to zero. So at this point, I want to continue my solution. I'm going to factor out the t's. So I'm going to pull t out. And I have 4.9 minus 25, 4.9t minus 25 without the t because I pulled it out equal to zero. So in math, anytime you have two things side by side that are multiplying that are equal to zero, each thing has to equal zero. So that would equal zero and this would equal zero. Well, when t equals zero, that's just going to be zero. Well, if you think about that, that's at this time. The first time the ball is on the ground is the original time before you threw it. So the ball is on the ground initially at time zero because you haven't thrown it at all. So it's still on the ground. The second time is on the ground, which is really what they're asking for in this question, is this time at this other second one. And that is what this second equation is going to give us. So this first one tells us before you threw it, and this one is telling us after. So we're going to have the 4.9t minus 25 equal to zero there. Move the 25 to the right side. 4.9t equal to 25. Divide by 4.9 on both sides. Okay. Now, if you look at this question carefully, it did say approximately, which means they're not really religious about the numbers. So when I look at this, I see 4.9. Oh, that's about 5 approximately. And this is 25 up top. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. So at 5 seconds later, after you throw this ball in the air, it will hit the ground again. Again, all that really means is that you make your height 0 because it only times when it hits the ground the height is zero. It is not above ground. It is hitting ground. So it's zero. If you put that in equation and you just solve the rest of it, you'll be able to get the two times. Oh, by the way, this is going to be five seconds. You get the two times when the ball is on the ground initially before you threw it, which is at time zero. That makes sense. And then later on, um, at time, at five seconds later, which is time, time at five. And that's your answer. So if you look at the answer key. The answer here would be D.